Our interviewee is Ms. Amina Binti Kamaruddin, is a licensed professional counselor and student affairs specialist. Here, I talk a little bit about her background. She is Malaysian and 36 years old, has higher education in Bachelor degree of counseling from University Malaya, has a certified counselor, Board of Counselor Malaysian and also a member of Pagama International. This is the beginning of her career. She has over 12 years of experience running the operation of the Department of Students Affairs, Sekir University and Sekir College, Kota Damansara. She has been trusted with over 8,000 students, led 100 over projects, passed with good track records in the Department of Youth, managed many corporate partners, supervised 1,000 over activity from the university community, and many more major duties in her year of experience. I was busy thinking about Of course, when uh, the team, we are all able to put everything together and make things work. So that is the satisfaction that I get from seeing the, the happiness, the, you know, when people achieve something, everyone are being very proud with their achievement. You see the satisfaction. That is something that I feel, I think I, I will feel proud about because you, when you pull everything together, when you try to work as a team, and you see their achievement from where they are, the, where they begin, and then where they come uh, to. Or when you see when people are you know, struggling at some point, and then see how they climb the ladders and become who they are. That is another thing that make me like feel, it is more towards like feeling accomplished, feeling satisfied. The word proud I, is, is not like very attached to me. Usually I will see when my students say, my students or my, the people who I love, who I care, they achieve something in their life. They went through so many struggles and hurdles in their life and they become who they are. That is when I feel very proud. is understanding the individuality like we know uh, people come from various backgrounds like I do have people from uh, African region I do have people from Saudi but um, of course understanding their cultures the first thing is my background in counseling that is a plus point actually since like a secondary school I start like I, I'm, I'm a person who start like uh, observing people who start with observing people it's not like observing people to judge people no it is about learning about people learning about you know uh, people's uh, why people uh, uh, are with you know the individuality of the person why they are uh, in such way so, for example we have uh, here we have all Malaysian Malay you know Mal from Malay culture so we understand like even from people from Kelantan for example uh, when they come to university there's some insecurity they are feeling why they feel like um, uh, they are not being you know cared as much as people who are living in you know the the main city like in Selangor or in Kuala Lumpur so that's infer inf inf Priority there as well. I do have uh, students who start with zero, uh, you know, language. Uh, they, they cannot speak uh, in English at all. They cannot, and they struggle very much. But when we uh, encourage them, when we encourage them, I mean, people from uh, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, when they come into, uh, you know, the universities, they they, they don't really able to you know, adapt with people. It is it, start with employer employees as well. A lot of employees they cannot speak. Uh, uh, English as well. That's a lot. Uh, for example, uh, you know, t uh, people who are teaching in Arabic language, they couldn't connect with uh, in English speaking people. You know, so that makes them like uh, you know being a silent, not involving so much uh, with uh, people. So this kind of people, these people are the ones that actually need help, that we need to go close with. It doesn't need to be, uh, you know, uh, for us to be, you know, understand, can speak the language that they speak, that we don't have any idea about, you know, we are clueless about. But at least you be there, you know, involve them in the group. And then it's like we learn through the behavior communication, you know, the way, uh, what they want to say. But you need to be very patient. That is one thing. You need to be very patient, uh, you know, hearing what they have to say. First thing first is like your heart. I mean, for me, that is the heart. You need to give your heart. You need to listen to people. Because if you want people to work together with you, you want to create a harmony place, uh, especially in the workplace, that is very important. That is why so many, you know, cases that is happening right now because people are not giving that attention that is needed there. People comes from a lot of culture, but understanding the culture is one. And then understanding the persons individually. 
there's no one style that is being used. It is like everything is joined together. Uh, for example, I have a uh, tan in the team. Okay, but you know certain individuals that they are ways that I need to, uh, you know, different way that I need to handle the team player, and I need to be very careful as well the way I I handle them because why? It might give wrong perceptions to the other team players as well. For example, I'm giving uh, so much, uh, you know, uh, freedom to uh, team player A, but then for team player B, I'm really observing the work. Okay, I'm being like checking every details all the words, but not to team player A. So I need at some point you can you need to try to understand as a leader how the team uh, player A might be feeling. You see, but the thing is I need to do that. Why? Because for example, team player B is not someone that um, what we call that uh, someone who can really uh, you know put every details. There's so many mistakes that you know always come out from the team player B's work. So if let's say it's a minor mistake, it's fine. But when it is uh, involving like uh, the quality and also the name of the department and uh, you know the the works of the team, all that, right? So that is the time that I really need to be, uh, you know, give a different way of uh, you know approach, different approach that I need to apply to that team player. But at the same time, I need to make that team player as well to understand why I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm applying this kind of a way uh, with uh, them. But uh, at the same time, I need to balance. Uh, if let's say I, I need to. Observe my team as well because, uh, uh, like we say, someone uh, if let's say people who are getting like feeling like they are more than uh, the other team player is going to you know I need to see how the uh, the person is carrying themselves in the team as well so that no other team uh, player is uh, you know gonna feel hurt or anything that so that is the thing. Oh, I'm open to everything right now. Seriously, I started my life, uh, my journey uh, from secondary school. I know that I want to take uh, what program. Actually, started with uh, four actually. That's four in my list uh, that I want to be lawyer because lawyer is because I I was thinking about fulfilling my uh, my late sister's uh, dream to become a lawyer. And then the second option that I have in my list is uh, to become a police because I saw a lot of uh, you know things that are not just happening uh, around. And then uh, the third is becoming a businesswoman. And then the fourth is becoming a counselor. So all these fall together. But um, and at last, I make a choice to become a counselor. Uh, so that is the thing. And then it leads to a lot of opportunities. Uh, uh, you know, in my journey, you know, I was offered a course in counseling. And then in my that career, I was offered to go to another position that is not doing counseling job. But of course, because I love the counseling job, I can carry that counseling job as well. See, when 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 you are performing well, like people start seeing you and. And they offer, uh, you know, position to you. They, you know, promote you to another level. Question is, is that what I really want? So that time I told myself that just um, take the offer, take the, you know, the opportunities that come to my door. But the thing is, right now, if anyone asks me, if opportunities knocks your door, do you take everything? I will say you carefully. You think first. That time I know my decision is right. Also, it is just I have taken so long because I love the people. I love the people. The people that I'm, I'm with, I love them because um, it's that is I have that uh, you know advantage that I meet a lot of good people in my life. That is Alhamdulillah. I meet a lot of good people. But right now, if you see, I told myself that explore every, explore everything. Why? Because it opens the platforms and you can give more to more people. What I want to be in my, uh, you know, in my future, it is like I'm open to everything. I'm open to everything. Meaning, the first thing first, what I am passionate in, uh, in my counseling field, that is one. I'm giving that as priority. Uh, the second thing is what I can give to people, what I can contribute to the society, what I can contribute to the community. That is another things as well. Have you heard about key performance index? And then, uh, okay, now first thing first, how we say is when we recruit people, when we want to recruit people to be in our team, right? So that is the thing. Now we are in two situations, look into that. We are in uh, two situations. Uh, first thing first, uh, when if you are if you are being appointed, if I'm being appointed uh, to lead a team, so I already have a you know team with people that already in. So right, right now, I just need to check, uh, you know, how their performance based on, uh, you know, last year, how, what is uh, the key uh, KPI that has been set to them and did they achieve or not? And then what other comments that is already there? So I need to see that based on what other have put and also what is actually their JD, what is their job description, what is their duties actually when they sign in uh, to, for the job. 
and then this one. But look into this one, the, the from the basic. For example, I want to recruit people. Okay, before I recruit people, I will have all the job descriptions uh, you know, listed. As you can see, when you go to LinkedIn, right? So for example, there's an executive of a, what we call that account, uh, accounting, okay, uh, or accountant job. Okay, so that's like description. What will be the duties that you need? Uh, you know, you'll be carrying when you take that position, all that, right? So that is where I start. That is where I start. So I recruit people, but not only based on what I put in, uh, you know, uh, on the uh, jetty, but as well when I interview them. Okay, I will observe how they will carry themselves as well. If I have that advantage to recruit the people, okay, the people that I'm recruiting, I will observe in a lot of areas because I cannot just bring anyone to my team. Okay, I need to care about uh, you know my teams. Uh, will the projects be delivered on time? Everything will be running on time. That is uh, one thing that I need to uh, check first. They are right for my team, then I will recruit them. Okay, there are a lot of other areas also as well that I will check their experience, how they carry themselves. Even if in their profile they they, they put like oh very super. Huh? If you if people will be impressed with their profile when you see it at first place. But when I when I start interviewing, I see something off there. Something is not right. So there it will I, I will just take like okay I will just find that you know people who can fit in. Okay, that is uh, one. And then when they are already in, okay, there will be contract being signed of course. So that daddy will be the first thing, the job description. And then they will be signing the contract, the job description, with the job description. So that is what their duty is. They need to make sure their duty is being delivered. And then the second thing is there will be KPI, key performance index, that will be set. In some company, key performance index will be set for what they need to achieve in three months time, or what they need to achieve in six months times, what they need to achieve in that twelve months time. Okay, so that I have as well. First thing first, when the mind is not free. When I have so much things in my mind, it is uh, actually uh, stopping me from making a better decision. And uh, when I'm, in, you know, being very emotional, that as well, it is as well. So what I try to do is, is I will try to, um, you know, rest first. I will try to make myself to stop first, do something. I tell myself, focus on your life checklist. You do what you need to do. It's like what other people, what other people are expecting from you is because that is the thing. When people look up at you, you know that you need to carry yourself uh, better because. Uh, People are getting influenced by you, that meaning you know people are seeing me as role model, and or people are expecting something from me, and then there are certain ways that I need to carry myself, all that. So it gives a lot of pressure on me. So that uh, influence the way I make decision. They influence the way, uh, you know, um, it, it influence a lot of me, the the emotions as well. And then I cannot be my true self. So I usually what I do is to free my mind. I will go to watch movie that time. Why? When I watch movie, I see pe other people's experience there. And uh, uh, it, it, it depends as well. If let's say I'm like uh, what we call that, I, I try to lose up, you know, loosen up all that my mind, right? Well, the, the movie that I watch is more like a, you know comedy type of movie, you know, uh, you know people like those like uh, Disney's movie, those that will free my mind, uh, you know, uh, that time. And I'm not going to watch at the same place that I work. No. So I will try to go far, you know, make sure my environment. I'm in total new environment. Total new environment, total new, uh, you know, uh, air. Uh, because I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I free the whole thing, you know, my mind, the people that are in my surrounding. So when I come out from that, you know, I make sure I come out with, uh, you know, uh, my mind is clear. It's like a, uh, it's like a fresh uh, person. Okay. So when I come, when I go back to office, that my mind is fresh and I can do it again. Uh, better i can do better another things that i realized that will help myself better is when i look back to my checklist okay because that is what i set in my life that is my objective that why uh, uh, what i have set in my life what i want to do why and why i want to that uh, i want to do uh, that the reason behind it and uh, i have a list of uh, you know from you know from this year until you know what age i am what i need to do so i see what i am doing right now it is what i want okay it is what i want and i remind myself as well what i need to do to make sure i take care of myself as well first thing first what you are passionate what is your passion what is the things that you like what is the things that you love i understand that some like some they do really know what they want in life some they are still searching so if you are searching for what you want in life 
don't worry just uh, do what you have what what comes to you okay just just take it just take it and just do because you might reach one point okay that you know okay right now I, what i want to do okay but um for those who already knows that what you want in life you make sure you have a you know very detailed uh planning with a timeline every single details and you make sure you run everything that you want to do and do everything on time you set the timeline you make sure you put that on your you know all the places uh, that you can see like make a collage you know so that you can see your ambitions yeah okay what is your goal there the collage uh, can be a montage it can be you can you know just a snap picture and put on your phone make it your wallpaper or you just stick in your room or you just stick at your work or, you know any place your uh, your study desk or any place that you can see let it be like something like a reminder for you what you want to achieve in life what is your purpose to go okay where you are heading okay so that will set a reminder to you every day know your passions set a detailed planning and then look on it okay and you will in the process you will feel very tired you will sometimes you feel exhausted or you feel you start questioning what i am doing actually so when you are questioning what you are doing actually and where you are right now you can see the achievements that you have uh comes you know all the extra miles so where to check your extra miles at what you have achieved so have faith you know when you have ambition when you have your goal already set you see the collage you have your montage you have you can see what you want but um, how about what you have achieved okay the certificates that you are getting the prizes that you get uh, the trophies that you get put it in places that you can uh, see every day as well it depends on what we are doing and the uh, situations that we are in um it's like the different time is the, uh, like the this is different okay monthly uh, we make sure we have meetings because we need to check what we have performed uh, in one month for example uh, but looking into a project as well so if let's say there's a project with the timeline as well that need to be in check but i need to look into the needs as well whether i need to have every of my team players to, uh, in my meeting or it is specific uh, people or it is one to one uh, depending on the needs actually decision is not about one person's decision okay if let's say that is about your life you make your decision it's fine but if it's involving the team and it's involving the project it is not about you it is not about ourselves it is about the team it is the focus is about that project so it should be every ideas gathered together it should be every ideas need to be gone through need to be analyzed and what is right for that project what is right for that purpose that is what need to be seen okay and whether the team can deliver that can achieve that if the team cannot deliver that there's uh, you know people who are not you know what is the expectations of the patrons okay uh, what is the expectations of the bosses for example what they are expecting to be delivered there as well so i need to look into that so in it's like project organization management there's a lot of things the visions the objective there's a lot of things that need to be considered a project for example look into a project a project is not about just a project a project is also uh, not just about the team a project also carries the names of the organization what the management team is expecting that from you when they give you that project what uh, the shareholders is expecting that as well uh, and there's a lot of reputations that you need to be looked into as well when a team is uh, you know managing that project when a team is you know given that task a leader will be hearing you know if let's say i my role is a leader that okay i i that mean it is a final say uh, for me for example okay and i'm in a situations where uh, what we call the i'm in a situations that i need to balance up the what uh, you know the patrons given me and then uh, what uh, the team ha- have shared idea the pros and cons so look into that look into situations if i need to bring expertise uh, from outside and you know th- th- that is one thing there is time that i uh, i might need to make my uh, use my you know my authority uh, because of i need to balance up the all the decision but uh, most of my uh, decisions is together it's like gathering all the information gathering all the what we call it, the ideas from people the information need to be balanced up and uh, you know we are going to analyze as well and look into things and then the decision will be made from that everyone have their own duty when they are appointed for the job okay that is one but uh, on times there are times for example uh, my team is being given uh, the duty to organize annual dinner for the uh, the team 
okay like for example we have like every year uh, there will be different teams that need to do town hall meeting for example town hall meeting meetings when we do town hall meeting we are going together what we call that uh, we have makan makan you know and then and uh, it's like going to be very relaxing time uh, you know everyone need to you know uh, read their um, Uh, what they have achieved, their departments, what they have achieved, all that. But it will be relaxing. But there will be fun activities, you know. But uh, we need to consider as well. There will be times that uh, things will be run online, you know. There will be times that physical uh, things, annual events, for example. What are the tasks uh, need to do, and what uh, people can bring to the plate, you know. For example, uh, we can. Well, for example, it's just an annual event projects. Okay, that time when we do the first meeting uh, or before the meeting, uh, we can open. Uh, we can open it. For the you know people, the members, uh, the team players, what do you want to do? Okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to be the persons who get the you know gifts? Do you want to be the persons who in charge for the games and activities? Uh, do you want to be the persons who are in charge to collecting all the presentation slides? Uh, you know the technical duty. Do you want to be the persons who in charge for the you know the Spotify music, all that I do for all those things? Uh, you know th- those kind of stuff. You know the, uh, the, uh, those kind of stuff. Uh, so opens for people, and then look uh, again uh, for other pers- uh, you know the tasks that if there's no one that can complete. There are times that uh, sometimes there will be people that are going to do two main tasks. You know uh, because uh, shorthanded, or there are people who are better in that job that uh, you know we can do. It's a like give and take kind of situations. Okay, but first thing first. Uh, what are their expertise? You know, uh, when we do, for example, it's already the fixed uh, duty that is his or her duty. Then it is. But if let's say there are times that it is an open project, and uh, what we call that, there are members uh, or players who want to, you know, to check the levels that they can go. When that is not done, we can give them a try as well. There, but of course, need to look into a lot of aspect as well because if let's say there's a need uh, for, you know, the certifications for that, if the, the person. It's not certified. The project cannot be accepted. For example, right? That you need to be checked as well. There.